What's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video. But first, do you like my shades? Okay, now a lot of you probably know that these are the x Thrill Air 2s, which are essentially extended reality slash augmented reality glasses. Now I recently did a video where I used the MetaQuest 3 for an entire working day, which brought forward a lot of requests for me to do the same thing, but with the x Reels. So that's essentially what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be using the x Reel Air 2s to work from for the entire day. And then I'll be able to give you my experiences on how they were for the entire day, talking about things like ease of use, actually how good they are, and of course, how comfortable they are to wear for the entire day. So I think first things first, we'll take a quick look at the glasses and how you get them set up, especially making use of the Nebula desktop app from the guys at x -Real. And then once we're all connected up, I'm gonna check in every now and again, just to sort of give you an update, much like I did in the MetaQuest video. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then stick around and watch the rest of this video. Let's go. Now again, I'm not going to be recording a voiceover after. I'm actually talking the way through this. So it's a bit of a raw video, but these are the x -Real Air 2s. So inside the case, what do we get? Well, we get the glasses, pretty simple. And of course, a cable to get them connected to your MacBook or laptop or whatever of choice. Now, these aren't just for productivity. I've done a full video on my channel and you're probably best to go and watch that video if you want to see all the features that these actually have. You know, you can connect them to your Steam Deck, you can connect them to your PC, you can connect them to your phone, pretty much connect them to everything. And you can have an extended screen up to 130 inches, I believe. And there's a there's an additional device called the Beam, but we're not looking at any of that today. We're literally going to be using these as a productivity tool to work from for the entire day, much like we did with the MetaQuest. So first things first, other than being an absolute fingerprint magnet, these are actually this is actually a lens cap. Now these are tinted to allow you to sort of put these on if you don't want to see through the glasses as much and almost immerse yourself. Now this isn't virtual reality. You're not in a virtual world. You're not totally shut out from the real world. You can still see even with the tinted lenses on. It's just like a very, very dark pair of sunglasses. Now if you're sitting somewhere, let's say, in a coffee shop, this is where I think these will shine. If you're someone who travels a lot or working on a plane or a coffee shop, something like that, you still want to be able to see your surroundings. But as you can see inside, the lenses are actually what will project the image. So if you just take a look at the lenses, you'll be seeing a essentially a 130 inch screen in front of your face, but still being able to see everything around you. Now we are gonna be using the Nebula desktop app as that's what really enhances this experience to actually make it a viable way to work in my opinion. So a quick look at the inside, you see those are the lenses, so they simply slot onto your face and then that is where the image will be projected and that is how we will see what is on our MacBook. So there's a few buttons on the side here. Again, watch my full video reviewing these where I talk about all the features. That'll be best if you wanna get an idea of what these are about. But there's a couple of buttons for volumes. There's some speakers here so you can have music playing straight through here into your ears. You can get different nose bridges to make this more comfortable. I've got one that I find relatively comfortable and it is as simple as just plugging into your laptop and then starting the Nebula desktop app. So let's do that. Right, so we've got the glasses, they're plugged in. It's just simple USB-C to USB-C, straight into one of the stalks of the glasses, and then you take the other end, and you plug it into your MacBook, and we're gonna plug the glasses straight in. As soon as you plug them in, they then draw power from your MacBook, and as you can see, the MacBook kind of goes into a funny, funny resolution. You get these black bars down the bottom. That's because you've now got the image showing through the glasses. Right, so they are connected. Now showing you the actual image is going to be the hardest part here. But hopefully you can just see inside the lens, you can see the color inside of the wallpaper in there, right? So these are connected and now there is a single image being displayed into these lenses. But that's not what we want to do. We want to use the Nebula desktop app. So we're just gonna go ahead and get that desktop app started. So I already have it downloaded. And again, I believe we talk about this in the full review video. So watch the full review video of the X-Reels if you're interested in the actual glasses, specs, and features of themselves. All right, so this is the Nebula 4 Mac desktop app. Now it still says it's in beta, but it works very, very good. And it's at this point where we can pick what screens we want. So we can have a single screen, dual screen, or a triple screen setup. And then again, you can pick from 72 Hertz or 90 Hertz. So we're gonna pick 90 Hertz, obviously, and we're also gonna pick triple screen because everybody knows the more screens you have, the better you are. And it's as simple as hitting start desktop. Now that's gonna run in the background, just sort of sort itself out. You'll see the resolution changes a little bit. And now it looks like we're connected. Up in your taskbar here, you do actually have a 
few controls so you can change the distance, which is how close or far away the image will be to you. The size of the image is sort of like magnifying, magnifying it. And then the angle. So because it's a triple screen setup, you can bring them in or bring them further away. And then there's a button to re reset your position. So again, if you was laying down, you could reset if you're looking if you're laying back in your chair and you're looking up, you can reset that position to that. Well, now we've got this set up again. I can't really show you through what's in the glasses because I can't get my camera in there to into the lens to actually show you. But I am going to record the screen and then put that into the video, which will hopefully give you an idea of how it works and what we're seeing. So I'm just going to go ahead and film that part now before getting into the work. Right guys, so I've just put the OBS recording into there so you can kind of see what I'm seeing and it will give you an idea of the controls that you have in the Nebula app. It's now at this point I can basically begin working. Now, I'm at the desk set up, yes, I'm in my office. This is where I do all my work and recording, but I don't have to be here. The point is, is you've got your MacBook and a single cable with a triple screen setup. I can take this anywhere and you don't even need to have your screen highlighted on here because it's the remote desktop app. You can see that you can completely take the brightness down on your on your MacBook for true privacy mode and I can still see my virtual desktop because it's a virtual desktop. You could be sitting on a plane, you could be sitting in a coffee shop, you don't want people to see your screen, they're not going to be able to see your screen. They're not going to be able to see it through your glasses. You're going to be sitting here in your, again it's not a virtual world, but you're going to be sitting here very much focused on what you've got ahead of you. It's being projected into the lenses which you're then looking at. It is similar to how a VR headset works with the lenses, but there's not the same level of immersion. Now I have the lens cap on, so this is making it super dark. So when I'm looking ahead, I can't really see too much what's ahead of me. I'm very much focused on the virtual desktop. Now this is the exact reason for these. Now for whatever reason, again, you was in a coffee shop or something, perhaps you want to be able to see your surroundings. You take the cap off and you can see pretty clearly it like your everything in your peripheral vision, but you can also still see pretty clearly the remote desktop because they are quite bright. But yeah, totally usable with either with the lens caps on or off, which is great. We're just gonna go ahead, get started, and we'll check back in throughout the day. All right, guys, so I just wanted to jump in here. It's been a couple of minutes since we last spoke. Firstly, I just wanna apologize. You, you're gonna be looking at the back of my head for some of this video, and I do apologize. I usually like to look at the camera whilst I'm talking and presenting, but this is kind of how we work like this. So I just want you to get an idea of I'm sitting here facing the screens. Now, the headset, you can feel at the left side where the power cable's going in, just at the back here. You feel it gets a little bit warm, but so far nothing uncomfortable at all. I've just been listening to music and I decided to get a bit more sort of immersed into it. So I was playing the music out of the speakers here rather than the MacBook. I just wanted to give, give a little update, just kind of show you. I'm gonna try my best to record what you're seeing on screen and overlay it. Um, I'm not that good with DaVinci Resolve yet, but hopefully we figure it out and this will be a good video. Now with the triple screen setup, I'm turning my head the same amount as I would be to, to actually look at my ultra wide. So this triple screen setup, once you adjust the, um, the size and the distance and the curvature, it, it's an ultra wide. Again, it's slightly different. These are three individual windows as opposed to being like one massive screen. It's clear, it, it's crisp, it's relatively sharp. I don't see any issues with it. Now again, we'll get to the end of the day. And again, I'll give you my, my updated opinion. Opinions might change, I might have a headache by the end of the day. But so far, so good. So what's up guys? Let me take them off so I can actually see. So I just figured we'd check in quickly, um, working away. I've moved the camera to a slightly different angle, as you can probably see, just so you can see my face. And it feels like I'm actually talking to you guys as opposed to you just looking at the back of my head. But it's currently 20 to 12, so we've been working away for a little bit now. I'm just trying to get a close-up to see, see the lines on my nose. But nothing really that major, especially comparing it to the MetaQuest, where it does feel like that your face does start to really ache. But the MetaQuest 3 is quite a heavy device and it sits on your entire face and sort of feels like it pulls you down. The glasses, um, I don't know what they weigh off the top of my head. I'll put it in somewhere of what their weight is. 
but they're relatively lightweight. I mean, yeah, they're heavier than your regular glasses. Um, and you can feel it on, on the nose bridge here, just where it sort of sits on your nose. But it's not uncomfortable. You can feel the weight of it. And of course, you've got a cable. So if you, if you don't have it nice and slack, you're going to be pulling on that a bit more, which is going to be putting weight on your face, but not uncomfortable by any means. They're actually relatively decent. Now I'm looking at myself and I do look a little bit tired, but I think that's just bad lifestyle. <laughs> it's not the glasses. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying myself. So I just thought I'd just do a quick check in before. I mean, it's going to be lunchtime pretty soon. So. Now forgive me. I know this is portrait mode, but it's the only way I can really get my phone. It's the only way I can get my camera inside the lens to kind of actually show you what we're looking like here. So as you can see, we've got the triple screens, but you can still see entirely the full setup. Now, <laughs> this makes the screens look pretty small. They're bigger than that inside or when you're actually looking through them. What's up guys? So five o'clock now, time to finish, hit a quick workout before coming back and finishing up here. So I figured it's time that we give our overall experience of how our day's been. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. These are fantastic. We'll talk comfort levels first. Now these are light, they're not heavy on your face. You feel a little bit of weight on the nose pads just as it sits on your nose throughout the, throughout the day, but nothing noticeable. It's not painful, it doesn't hurt. They leave a little bit of an indentation. You take them off for 10 minutes, the indentation goes away. There's a little bit of heat that builds up in the left side because that's where the USB cable is plugged into. But again, it's not like it burns you, it's it, it's just hot. You feel that it's hot, but nothing that would make you not be able to wear them or not want to wear them. It's only something that you notice when you touch it with your hands, not on your head. So comparing this to something like the MetaQuest 3, this is way more comfortable to wear throughout the entire day. Quality wise, now quality is a hard one to show because of the nature of the device. You really have to have your eyes through the lens to actually see how it looks. So I've done my best to try and show you what the quality is like, but I can only do so much. Now for me, if these were 4K, of course it would be amazing, but the 1080p does a really good job. The text is crisp, it's clear, it's really visible, and the ability with the Nebula desktop app to be able to increase the image, decrease the image, have it further away from yourself or have it closer, makes it so you can find the sweet spot so everything is clear enough for you to work throughout the entire day. Using these for the entire day, I haven't come away with a headache and I've been looking at text for the entire day with no issues. So again, with comfort, quality is right up there for me. I think it might vary person to person depending on your preferences, maybe even your eyesight and such things. But for me, I'm really happy with these. I don't have any grumbles about them not being 4K. Sure, 4K would be nice, but they do a very, very good job as they are. What about the sound quality? Sound quality is not the best. The speakers are right by your ears, so it's nice to listen to sort of YouTube videos in the background or some subtle music. There's no real bass. They're not gonna get you up and jumping and dancing around. But again, for what they are, they do a good job. Now for productivity use, do I recommend these? Yes, of course I do. The Nebula desktop app is what really makes these worthwhile, in my opinion, for productivity use. Now I'm not saying you need multiple screens to be productive, but those who have multiple screens know that it helps. It's why 49 inch monitors are so good because you get all the screen space so you can visualize everything whilst you're working away. And with the remote desktop app and having the tri-screen setup, you essentially get an ultra wide in front of your face and the ability to take it anywhere that you choose. Sure, you can connect these to your Steam Deck and your PlayStation and even your PC and things like that, and they do a good job at that. You can watch movies on the go, so on and so forth, but this is all about productivity. And having just a single 130 inch screen is cool for watching films and playing games and maybe a little bit of light work, maybe emails and things like that. But when you're truly getting down into the nitty gritty of working, you need multiple screens or at least a massive screen for screen space. So having the Nebula desktop app really is amazing for these. So for productivity, again, they're right up there for me. Now the final point people are always gonna wanna know, so what do you pick up? The MetaQuest 3 or the extra wares? Now here's the kicker. Whilst they can do the same thing, they're very, very, very different devices and they do things in a totally different way. You're not gonna get the total immersion levels with these like you would with this. This can do all the gaming, this can do a whole lot more than what these can do. But look at the size difference. If you're wanting something lightweight that you can carry around in your bag, potentially use outside, on planes whilst traveling and things like that, then I think it's a pretty obvious choice which one you go for. In the ideal world, of course, you'd have both, but that's not possible for every person. So I think if you're looking for just, just productivity and lightweight compactness and being able to travel around with it, you're gonna wanna pick these 
over this. But if you want something that can do it all, have the games as well, be able to hook it up to your PC, play VR games and things like that, then of course you're gonna want the headset. Maybe if there's enough interest, we can do a bit more of a deep dive into the pros and cons of each device for working and then come out with an ultimatum. But this video is about the X-Real Airs, and for me, they're 100% a buy. These are very, very good for what they do for the price that they come at. I hope that the video has been informative and at least shown you what you can do with these and how perhaps you could use them in your day-to-day -day life. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you've got any further questions, drop them down in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.